All right, so today I got a special one. This is my fiance's F-150, 2016 Ford F-150, 2.7 liter twin turbo EcoBoost. And it's got a problem. She just tried to take it out and she made it maybe a mile up the road and it died. Um, it said, I haven't even gone in there yet. She just uh, told me about it. It says service charging. Um, and to me, it sounded like the alternator failed, which is crazy because it's a pretty new truck. I think it has like 50, 55,000 miles on it. Um, <clears throat> so she started it back up and then it went like another quarter mile, died. Another quarter mile, died and made it home, thankfully. So let's get in this truck. I want to see what's going on because I haven't even checked it out yet. Uh, poor truck. It's a good truck. It's been a great truck, but well, so far... That light is on. Looks like a little lightning bolt. It doesn't look good. I've never seen it before. Let's try this thing. I haven't even given it a shot yet. Alright. Just start it right up. Uh-oh. No screen on the dash. Which is not good. Yeah. System off to save battery. Please turn ignition off or s turn ignition off or start engine. Um, what does it say? I just want to see what it says. Sister door. This thing is freaking out. I'm just watching what the thing's doing. I'm not trying to delay this anymore. Ch charging systems or. Charging system service now. Um, where's my alternator? It's got to be up here. All right, so I can't find a a uh, voltmeter on here. I don't know if I'm missing it. So I'm gonna get my uh, my multimeter out and test the battery and whatnot, and just see what everything's at. But it's just not happy right now. So let's get that uh, hood popped. All right, so I got the fluke out here. Um, I got the positive in there, and here's my negative. I'm looking for, yeah, 12.6, not bad. I think that's okay, and th that's after I just ran this thing, um, freaking out that it's got no battery or no charging system. Um, I'd like to see that like 2.9 or 12.9, 12.8. I think that's a healthier battery, but I think this battery is a couple years old anyway. Um, let me get the truck started, and let's see what it's reading for voltage. Um, I was looking around and it looks like the alternator, if I have to replace it, which I probably do. Man, you can't even see it. It's right there, that bottom corner. Um, maybe you can see it better from here. It's in there. Pretty good. Two twin turbos in the way, so let's get a reading on this thing. All right, just fired her up. Still running good. <clears throat> All right, let's see. 15.2. This is obviously where they're running. The alternator's gotta be no good. Wait a minute. What? This thing is all over the place. It's showing me 15 volts. While well, it's running, is that charging? Kind of, maybe? I don't know what this thing is doing. And of course it's raining. Oh, happy Friday. We're gonna figure out it'll work. Hmm, I'm gonna keep watching this. Let's see what happens. All right, so I don't know what is wrong with this truck, meaning the alternator seemed to be charging just fine. I have it running right now. I got the battery light on. That charging light error is on, and I got my scanner plugged in too. Just so I don't have to be out there holding. I just wanna check this, and it's showing voltage on here. 15.1 volts. Let's go outside and check it manually again. The truck is running great. Or, no, no, actually, I gotta pop the hood. All right, just pop the hood, didn't shut the motor off. Plug that in. Go. Bolt reader. It's reading 15.1, just like my scanner is. So to me, everything is working like it should, but the truck is shutting off with crazy lights on the dash, which is not not cool at all. I really don't like this. I wish the alternator was just bad, because then you know that you know that what's wrong with it. Um, let me, uh, I'm gonna shut her down, start it up, see if it does all the 
freak out stuff again. I mean, it's still got all the lights on on the dash. Okay. All right, I'm gonna shut her down. Let's put her back on. Okay, the ignition. And let's take the key out. It's still showing that charging point, like, issue. All right, let's shut this door. Okay. Come on, I'm trying to shut the door. Please, please, I'm not leaving you, don't worry. Hey, get out, please. Back up, back up, back up, back up, I'm sorry. All right, let's try this again. Just letting it boot up, see if it has conniptions again. I know the hood's up. Well, that charging light is still on, so it's a good thing, just so I know. Something's wrong. I don't know what's wrong with this truck, but that is an issue. And the truck stalling is a major issue. So I'm gonna have to do more digging and anything else I find out, I will keep you updated. All right, so quick update. Now it's showing me 12.6 volts while this truck is running. Um, I don't know. Let me give it a little rev, but I don't know. Something, the alternator. I don't know, might need an alternator, I can't tell. at 13 then it probably goes back down to 12 yeah maybe the alternator is bad i don't know we're gonna have to look into it all right so i was running the truck and the light just went off because the truck is off but um basically i was watching the voltmeter on here and it was the truck was running great and happy at like 13.4 volts um i'm not sure if that's where this truck is supposed to be um everything everything seemed great and then uh, I watched it go to 15 again, which seems, it, the more I think about it, that is pretty high. I'm not saying, I don't even know what's normal for this truck. I'm assuming 14.5 is like the highest it should be. Then I watched it jump from 15 to 16 to 17. And when that happens, this dash turns into this while it's running. That screen pretty much shuts off. Um, so I don't know what's wrong. I I think something's going on where the, the regulator is just allowing too much to come out or too, and then it went down to 12.5 at one point while I was running. So I either got to look into this or bring it to the dealer, which I don't want to do, but I want to make sure it's diagnosed properly. Clearly I'm old school and I just know alternators. I don't know fancier charging systems and all that fun stuff. So I'll keep you updated. All right. So I got a pretty big update on the F-150 here. Um, my buddy who has access to all data repair right there, was able to scan the truck on codes that you just can't see with a normal scanner. And it came up with these codes, P0625, P0626, um, basically just indicating that generator field too low and too high. And this document right here pretty much tells you what to go through step by step in order to just check the truck out, test the battery, um, and then test the alternator. Um, you know, go through all this here is that plug that basically has three wires going out to the, uh, I think it's the PCM computer, and communicating with the truck what what's going on with uh, the alternator and charging. So I'm not gonna go through all these pages here. So I, I skimmed it and then I basically decided I don't know if it's the alternator or not, and I don't wanna just throw a $700 alternator in this truck and have it not fix the truck. So what it is, I use one of my free tows from AAA and I towed it to the dealer, which is not something I wanted to do, but I wanted to get it diagnosed properly from the dealer, which sucks because I feel like that's what's happening these days. So in short, I got it fixed and basically it was a wire issue. Um, states right here, this is what the tech did, what they went through. Um, here, I'm gonna try to read this here, but it says, um, ohmed and load tested the wires from the PCM and BJB found under a load CKT SBB38 shows 0.2 ohms but will not carry a load. Trace to a small section of wire harness. Um, sorry, sorry for the lights about here. Trace to a small section of 
wire harness where it is impossible to reach to find a bad the bad spot in the circuit so I performed and overlay and eliminated that section retested and the vehicle is charging correctly which is all right here so basically we got whacked with this cost right here $658.69 to run a wire a new wire from let's say the alternator I was checking out the work and it's okay I kind of wish I just knew that this is the issue but right in here you can see a new gob of wires which is that white wire which is then taped onto this wire harness right here which I don't know I would have done a better wiring job which then I saw it before they spliced out where is it here um it's this connector right here see this wire right here that brown and red one I believe they cut it and it goes right to the white wire there they ran a new wire going over the harness so basically they just bypassed the old wire in here this whole thing was all peeled back still from the dealer they didn't even like clean it up which I wasn't happy about but whatever I cleaned it up and then I put some electrical tape on there where it could be rubbing considering I don't want this issue to happen again if it chafes so nice expensive wire job just to fix a wire that comes from the alternator down there which is that right there there should be a plug you should be able to see it right there down there there's three wires coming out of it all right there's a better shot of the connector right there off the alternator three wires coming out of that that then communicates going through the harness to that plug so what a fun situation to deal with i'm pretty upset with it in general only because i don't like the way it's ran um, I think that should have been covered under warranty. The truck has 55,000 miles on it. And it worries me because where is that chafe and what other wires could chafe, you know, because of this? I just don't like that at all. So that is the fix on the F-150. Let me uh, plug it or plug in the scanner and just show you how it runs. It runs normal again. All right, let me get that scanner plugged in. All right, so I got my scanner plugged in here. And before I even start the truck, it's resting at 12 volts, which I think the battery's probably going to die soonish. It's definitely not a new battery. I think it's original from 2016. But uh, let's start this truck up now. Um, I got everything up there, of course. But let's see. Uh, yeah, I know. All right, see, we got no issues. We got no battery light, no checks uh, charging system all that terrible f stuff i saw while it was running last time and as you see here we got the volts now running at a nice 14.4 and i think it pretty much stays around that um when it's just idling when i'm driving it might fluctuate a little bit but i haven't seen it really go over 14 like six uh since it's been idling so that seems much uh like a much better number to idle at so yeah that is the problem i have with this truck and the solution, which I wasn't really happy with the solution because I kind of wish it was just plug and play, not a chafed wire from Ford dealership. I think that's ridiculous and I think they should cover it. And they should also probably issue a recall for that because that's just pretty scary. If this can chafe, any other F-150 like this can chafe. Um, so yeah, there's my voltage hanging out nicely and ha nice and happy. Well, I hope this helped you guys and maybe you guys don't have to take it to the dealer and spend all that and fix it yourself. All right, thanks for watching.